Good morning guys, Deuce is Wild Fishing here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I hook my uh, skipjack chunk on my hook here. In the meantime, while you're checking this out, go to our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and our website at Deuce's Wild Fishing. Check us out and then subscribe to our YouTube channel for all tips and tactics on the water anytime you need it. Thanks all. Tight lines. Check this out guys, when you hook your uh, bait, I go through the top side up here hooking my skipjack about a quarter inch into the bait, make sure there is no scales on your hook, a little bit underneath that backbone, keep it on there for the fish, good way to hook your bait. Okay guys, took that bait right off that hook. Right off that hook. So this is a good example of not, I did not check my bait enough. I saw this rod get hit once or twice. I did not check my bait enough. And um, the fish probably had it just barely hooked. Not properly hooked because they've been messing with it. And he was able to pull it right off. So. Uh, that is all a mistake on my side. Always check your base, guys. Fish been playing with it, check your base. Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about. If you're getting hit by those small fish like that, and um, they bear down on that, and they might pull your rod over, but you miss them, because that's what they do to the bait. So you frequently need to double check your bait. So I just showed you how I hooked my skipjack well, another bait that I sometimes use is gizzard shad. So let me show you what I how I hook my gizzard shad. I have some frozen gizzard shad here uh, that I had the other day. I caught the other day. So when they're this size, when they're a small little three to four inches like this, what I like to do is cut the tail off. Kind of exposes that backbone, gives us a little set blood in a uh, little blood in the water. Then because these are soft, small baits, I like to take my hook and run it through the bottom of the jaw, out through his head, out through the bone part of his head. There we go. Now that's stuck right in there good, and fish play with it or whatever. They probably won't take it off until they get hooked. I got so fishing with a big skipjack head. When I fish vertically, I don't mind hooking it through here like this, but when I'm dragging or trolling, I go again, just like the uh, gizzard shad, I go through the bottom lip here, up through the bony part of their, of their skull, like that, and it goes through the water when you're trolling, goes through the water a lot better. So just a heads up on that, that's how I hook my skipjack heads uh, when I'm dragging for catfish.